The Indian Air Force has inducted its first batch of four indigenously developed light combat helicopters today, in the presence of Defence Minister Rajnath Singh and Indian Air Force Chief. The light combat helicopter has also received its name today, and it will be called the Prachand, and it has been officially inducted into the 143 helicopter unit of the Indian Air Force. The RDO's Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment and IIT Madras had jointly set up a advanced conformal coating technology laboratory in August this year, which has started the development of special coatings to reduce friction heat in gun barrels of tanks and artillery systems, that will increase their ability to withstand wear and tear, and also provide lubrication properties. Russia had offered a customized variant of the Su-75 single-engine stealth fighter to India, but as per latest reports, the Russian Su-75 project is increasingly looking impossible to realize, as the United Arab Emirates has now paused its involvement in the project, which has dried up a critical source of funding for research and development, and now there is no prospect of the first flight to happen in the next two years. The DRDO has started the program for indigenization of terminal guidance radar of submarine launched surface to surface missile that will be executed by local industry with up to 90% financial assistance by the DRDO under its technology development fund scheme. The terminal guidance radar is the seeker of club missile which is launched from the submarine based launching system. The analysis of defective club missile inventory has revealed that maximum defects pertain to the seeker, and its repair will ensure combat worthiness of the primary offensive weapon of the Indian Navy's EKM class submarines. The Indian government is considering setting up of a Tri Services Missile Command that will be responsible for deployment of missile and rocket regiments against any hostile adversary and will be manned by commanders of the three services in rotation. All conventional missile regiments including BrahMos missile, Prolay missile, all short-range ballistic missile, as well as long-range multiple launch rocket system units will be placed under this newly created missile command for rapid deployment against any adversary. Scientists at gas turbine research establishment are ready with the Cavari dry engine and are eagerly awaiting to conduct its flight tests on an IL-76 flying test bed in Russia. The flight test had initially faced delays because of the global lockdown, and now the delay is due to the Russia-Ukraine situation, which will indirectly delay India's autonomous stealth UCAF program. The Srinagar-based No. 51 squadron of MiG-21 aircraft that was decommissioned last week, has now been replaced with a MiG-29 UPG squadron, that will soon get the 110 km range Astra Mark 1 missiles, which are superior to AIM-120 C-5 armed rams on the Pakistani F-16. The No. 51 squadron would be reactivated with the Tejas Mark 1A aircraft in 2025. The ambassador of El Salvador held a meeting with the CEO of Zen Technologies yesterday, during which he stressed that El Salvador offers an investment climate that favors the stable development of the industry. The director of Zen Technologies has also expressed his interest in meeting with national institutions of El Salvador related to the investment. Zen Technologies is interested to offer its drones counter drone solutions and combat training simulators to El Salvador that would mark its entry into the Central American market. US firm General Atomics has announced a strategic partnership with an Indian artificial intelligence company 114 AI that has become one of its first partnerships as part of General Atomics Make in India roadmap. General Atomics aims to increase cooperation on next-generation AI technologies, which is an important area of cooperation between the US and India, and will be extremely valuable for military operators. Oh,